pretty good. Yeah, we are going to be seeing a lot of heat and humidity these next couple of days with the southerly flow. This trough associated with a very weak warm front could bring thunderstorms as early as today for cottage country and through the overnight. The cold front certainly going to be our big story throughout the day tomorrow. It is going to be so hot and muggy, 32, feeling like 35 to 40 throughout the day tomorrow. So it's no wonder that when this cold front hits all that hot, soupy, muggy air, that's where we're going to see those convective showers. Localized flooding could be an issue with heavy downpours, the slow the front is a very slow mover. Much cooler temperatures behind it were dropping about 12 degrees by Saturday. Hi there, good morning. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Thursday, the 4th of September. Before we get into the active weather for tomorrow, let's take a look back at yesterday, early this year. Now, where we are going to see active weather is throughout the night tonight, up and through cottage country, and then throughout the day tomorrow. This trough associated with the warm front could bring potentially stormy conditions through cottage country later on this evening, and then again through the overnight. Uh, tomorrow, throughout the day, this cold front is going to be a big story for us. It is going to be incredibly muggy. We're talking temperatures into the low 30s, feeling more like the low 40s when you factor in the humidity. Tomorrow could very well be the hottest day of the year for the GTA and a lot of southern Ontario. Now, once this cold front hits all of that warm, muggy, soupy air, that's our best chance to see some convective showers, and we could see some severe thunderstorms firing up. Biggest threat with this cold front is going to be heavy rain, so we could see some localized flooding, uh, potential for some small-sized tail and fairly gusty conditions. Interesting story behind this cold front, temperatures are going to be dropping dramatically for Saturday. We're talking 32 degrees for Friday and then only a daytime high of 21 for Saturday, but we clear up by Sunday and we'll be back to high pressure in seasonal values. Here's Tom now with an update on your commute. Not bad. It is going to be really hot, really sticky for the next couple of days. We've got this southerly flow and a system approaching, so we're going to be sitting right into that warm sector. Now, we are going to see the risk of isolated thunderstorms tonight and into tomorrow morning for cottage country. And then by tomorrow afternoon, evening, this is going to really be our big story. We've got that cold front approaching. Once it hits all of that warm, soupy, muggy air, that's where we have the chance to see some potentially severe thunderstorms. The biggest threat with these storms is going to be heavy downpours, some small hail, local localized flooding could certainly be an issue in fairly gusty winds. Now behind this cold front, temperatures are going to change dramatically. We're looking at a daytime high on Friday of like 32 degrees for the city of Toronto, but feeling closer to 40. By Saturday, behind this cold front, temperatures drop significantly. We're talking down to 21, feeling like 24. And then for the remainder of the weekend, we're looking at seasonal values and lots of sunshine getting us into next week. This weather sick. Thanks so much, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin's back from his vacation. It is going to be a hot, muggy day today. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And so far, not doing too badly on the highways. There is a couple of crashes. Uh, QEW at Bartlett, there's a Farker crash, which is Fort Erie bound. Across the top of the city, looking good. The volume is back, though, big time. Yeah, there. I bet. Everybody's back from vacation. Everybody's back. And started, and... That's right, getting sorted. So we're seeing that return to more normal gridlock. All right, well, yesterday was a great day for gridlock. Now, tomorrow could potentially be the hottest day of the year. I will talk temperatures in just a few moments, but first, Tom, what's going on with that accident? Hot, humid, and muggy. We are going to be seeing temperatures today in the high 20s, feeling more like the mid-30s when you factor in the humidity. Slight risk of isolated thunderstorms tonight along this trough through cottage country. And then tomorrow, the cold front is going to be a big story for us. This is where we could see some active weather. We've got temperatures into the low 30s, feeling more like the low 40s when you factor in the humidity. Now, of course, when that sharp cold front hits all of that warm, muggy, soupy air, that's where we're going to see the best chance for some convective showers. So stretching from Montreal right down to Windsor, there is a chance for severe thunderstorms. The biggest threat is going to be gusty conditions, very heavy rain, so localized flooding can certainly become an issue, and some small-sized hail. Now behind this cold front, a dramatic drop in temperatures. We're going to go from 32 degrees tomorrow to only 21 for Saturday. So seasonal for Saturday and Sunday, and it looks as though we are going to be some sun seeing some sunshine getting us into next week. 
for a couple of days. We have got beautiful sunshine today, high pressure fully dominating over southern Ontario, a very warm southerly flow coming up from the United States. We're going to get into the high 20s, feeling more like the mid 30s with humidity. Slight risk of isolated thunderstorms tonight around cottage country and then tomorrow this cold front is going to be our big story. The heat and humidity is on. We're going to feel more like the low 40s when you factor in the humidity, temperatures into the low 30s. And when that sharp cold front hits all of that warm, muggy, soupy air, that is where we're going to see that risk of convective showers, possibly severe thunderstorms with some small hail, heavy downpours, localized flooding could certainly be an issue. Now behind this cold front, much cooler air mass with that northerly wind, high pressure coming into place. So we are going to be seeing lots of sunshine for Saturday and Sunday, but temperatures certainly a lot cooler. 21 degrees for Saturday. Harry. All right. Thanks so much. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Kevin. <laughs> thank I you. Th is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> That's it's what like, I was trying just, to say. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. I was thinking about the heat and the humidity and how warm it's going to get tomorrow. And it and all came out just in one word. It really did. That's right. <laughs> today is going to be very hot and sticky. So if you love the heat, today is the day for you. If you don't love the heat, try and find yourself some air conditioning today. It's nice that it's nice that summer finally arrived. Isn't it? In, in September. September. <laughs> Beauty. Yeah. Today we're going to hit 29, feel like 35, and then and then tomorrow morning the heat is on by. 10 a.m. It's going to feel closer to the low 30s by the afternoon, low 40s. We'll talk about the active weather on the way, but first, here's Tom. It does. It is hot and sticky until then. We'll get to all those details in a moment. We've got this nice warm southerly flow giving us a really hot muggy day today, feeling closer to the mid 30s. Slight risk of isolated thunderstorms this evening and through the overnight and through cottage country. And then this cold front is going to be firing through southern Ontario throughout the day tomorrow. Now tomorrow's temperatures getting up into the low 30s, but feeling more like the low 40s when you factor in the humidity. And when that cold front hits that hot muggy soup air, that's our best chance of seeing some isolated, possibly severe thunderstorms throughout the region. Now behind this cold front, we are going to see a dramatic cool down in temperatures. We are going to see our temperatures go from about 32 degrees on Friday to 21 for Saturday. But high pressure returns, which means lots of sunshine throughout the GTA right into the beginning of next week. So we've got 32, feeling like 40 tomorrow, Saturday 21, feeling like 24, which is seasonal. And then the seasonal values continue right until the end of the week. And then we'll even get a little bit of a warm up. Well, they are not very good. No? No, we got a crash on the southbound 410. A lady's bumped her head there, ambulance, everybody on the scene. Uh -oh. uh, so that's got things messed up on the southbound 410. All right, well, conditions, as Kevin was mentioning, they're beautiful right now. We've got lots of sunshine in the forecast for today. It is going to be so hot. In fact, tomorrow How hot could is be... It? How hot is it? Tomorrow could be the hottest day of the year. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. And you know what? The West has been stealing all of our heat. Yes. Whistler, believe it or not, has had 17 days above 30 degrees. Guess how many we've had. How many? Six. So you know what we sent them yesterday? What? Do, do we have the picture, John? Can do, we show it? Do we have days? snow and bam? Do we have it? <laughs> I don't know if we can get it right away. But anyway, we sent them snow. Yeah, we sent them snow. And here's a webcam. Oh. The rain snow mix. Just well, saying it. Just throwing it out there. But we're not. We're going to be lovely here. <laughs> we're not. It's all good. We're so mean. I know. We're. All right. Well, we are going to cool down, but not yet. We do have some active weather on the way. I'm going to get into that in just a moment. But first, Tom, give us an update on what's happening with that crash. And it's hot. We've got temperatures getting up to the high 20s, feeling like the mid-30s today. Trough could bring in a few isolated thunderstorms through cottage country. Cold front is going to be our big story tomorrow. Temperatures for us getting up into the low 30s, feeling more like the low 40s when you factor in humidity. We've got that sharp cold front hitting all of that warm, soupy, muggy air. That could give us some severe thunderstorms, including hail, strong winds, heavy downpours. Localized flooding could certainly be an issue. This is going to affect maybe your later commute home. Anytime after 4 o'clock is where we're really going to start to see those convective showers. Now, behind this cold front, temperatures drop dramatically. We've got a lot of cold air coming from across the prairies. Remember that snow I was just talking about? We're not going to see that, but temperatures are going to drop dramatically. We're going from 32 tomorrow to 21 on Saturday. All right, thanks so much. That's Kevin Yard. He's in Barrie, Ontario. Thank you for joining us here this morning on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, and uh, we've got a few problems out there. One in Kitchener, we've got another one in the 410, so uh, a little busy on the highways, and of course, everyone is back. So we're yep. seeing humongous volume just about everywhere. Well, for schools that don't have air conditioning, I had air conditioning. I, I, think, I, I think my son has air conditioning yeah. at his school. It's uh, a new school. They certainly need it today. Uh, 29, feeling like 30. Mm -hmm. 
85 when you factor in the humidity. And if you think that's hot, tomorrow's going to be even hotter, Tom. It could be our hottest day of the year. So I'll explain that in detail coming up in just a few moments. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, we've got that warm southerly flow today and into tomorrow, so temperature is hot. We're looking at tw high 20s, feeling like mid-30s today. And then tomorrow, we're actually going to be at the low 30s, feeling like the low 40s with the humidity. Now, we could see some active weather tonight and tomorrow morning through cottage country, but this cold front, that's going to be our big story. When we've got temperatures and humidex values the way we are going to tomorrow, once that sharp cold front hits that, that is where we're going to see the chance of severe thunderstorms firing up. The potential for some hail, some heavy downpours, fairly gusty conditions, localized flooding can certainly be an issue. This is all set to start after four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So daytime heating, again, could certainly contribute to severity of these storms. Behind that, a much cooler, drier air mass on Saturday, only getting up to 21. It worked, Tom and Emily. All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. We're going to check in with Tom in just a few moments. Uh, we do have temperatures that are going to be incredibly warm today. We're looking at high 20s, feeling like the mid 30s. The heat is on. can actually be the hottest day of the year. We'll talk more about that coming up and the active weather that's on the way. But first, Tom, what's going on on the roads? Well, it is certainly going to be hot and muggy today and into tomorrow. Today, upper 20s, feeling like the mid-30s. We could see some active weather along this trough through cottage country. But the big story is going to move in through the GTA tomorrow late afternoon when this cold front hits all that warm, muggy, soupy air. Tomorrow, like I was mentioning, could be the hottest day of the year. Temperatures getting up into the low 30s, but feeling more like the low 40s when you factor in the humidity. Once that cold front hits all of that warm, muggy, soupy air, that's where we could see those convective showers firing up, small sized hail, fairly gusty conditions, heavy rain, localized flooding could certainly be an issue. Now, once this cold front passes through, we've got a much cooler, drier air mass building in. Temperatures are going to be dramatically different. We're talking like almost cutting them in half if you look at the humidity. Feeling like 40 tomorrow, feeling like 24. So seasonal values for the weekend throughout the GTA. Thanks, Tom. It is going to be so hot and muggy throughout the day today. Temperatures getting up into the high 20s, feeling more like the mid 30s. Drops going to move through cottage country by tonight. We could see some stormy weather and then the cold front is going to be our big story tomorrow afternoon, late day. So we're talking anytime after four o'clock is where we could see this very sharp cold front hit a lot of warm, muggy, soupy air. We're actually going to get up into the low 30s, but feel more like the low 40s when you factor in the humidity. And that is when we could see these convective showers fire up. Yes, these thunderstorms could be severe in nature. Behind these thunderstorms, we are going to see a dramatic drop in temperatures by Saturday, only getting up to 21 degrees. Around the world in 80 seconds. Thanks, Kim. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Thursday. It's the 4th of September, and it is a beautiful day to be out on the water. And that is exactly where we join Kevin Yard in beautiful Barrie, Ontario. Good morning, Kevin. Studio. No sharks, though. No. Thanks, Kevin. We'll get out there and enjoy today because this is our story for tomorrow. That cold front is going to move closer to the GTA by tomorrow afternoon and give us the chance for isolated thunderstorms. It is going to be so muggy tomorrow. It is going to feel like the low 40s with temperatures into the low 30s. Once that cold front passes through a dramatic drop in temperatures by Saturday, we're only looking at a daytime high of 21. Head to our website for more on our top five videos. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Thursday. It's the 4th of September, and it is a beautiful summer's day. Great to be out on the water, which is exactly where we join Kevin Yard up in beautiful Barrie, Ontario. Kevin? Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, you're certainly going to want to be uh, cooling off later on this afternoon when it starts to feel like the mid-30s with that humidex. Now, we do have the risk of active weather tonight and into tomorrow morning for cottage country, but it's not going to be until late day that the GTA is going to see the effects of this cold front. It's going to feel like the low 40s when you factor in the humidity. So when that cold front hits that soupy, warm, muggy air, there's a good chance that we could see some convective showers, severe thunderstorms, certainly a possibility, much cooler behind the cold front for the weekend. This weather. Joining us, meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum. Now, Doug, after a relatively cool weekend in right. comparison, what do we have to look forward to to next week? Well, we do have a bit of a warm up in store for early next week. Nowhere near as warm or as hot as what we're seeing to end off this week, but okay. still a very pleasant start to the week. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures recover too, or even a little bit above seasonal. Tuesday looks pretty good as well, though can't rule out a passing shower. And again, temperatures fairly comfortable. I can handle all of this. Now, I have a 
feeling that there is going to be a butt coming in this forecast. <laughs> That's right. And take a look at the prairies. Temperatures well below wow. seasonal. A or hint, for Calgary. A hint of late fall. And eventually, <laughs> this air mass, fortunately in greatly modified form, mm -hmm. will be making its way into southern Ontario for the end of the week and into the weekend. Whoa, okay, wait a second. Now, the prairies in their forecast, I am just going to throw it out there, they could see some snow right, next that's, week. That's right. That's what you're talking about, our, our modified version. We're not right, going to no see snow. any of that. No snow no in snow. our forecast. Now, okay. during the transition, we do have the likelihood of some unsettled weather. The timing of that, whether it's Wednesday into Thursday and Friday, still some uncertainty. Okay. But we are confident that by the end of the week, temperatures oh. Friday into Saturday considerably cooler, not as cold as what we're seeing in the prairies, but this is not a permanent change. Good. The month of September as a whole, still <laughs> alternating periods of warm and cool. Overall, the warm should slightly win out. So I think what to recap is that we're not going to see snow, but temperatures a little cooler at some point next week. This weather segment for more on our top five videos, just head to our website, theweathernetwork.com. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is September the 4th, and it is a beautiful summer's day. Kevin Yar joins us in Barrie, Ontario. And Kevin, what are you up to? So far, you've been fishing, and now you are... <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. Having a great time in Barrie, Ontario. Today is going to be very hot and sticky. We've got temperatures getting up to 29 for so muggy. And then tomorrow, even hotter. We've got temperatures getting up into the low 30s, feeling more like the low 40s. So it is no wonder that when this cold front hits us tomorrow late day, this could affect your commute home, that we're going to see some isolated, possibly severe thunderstorms throughout the GTA. We've got that warm, muggy air, that sharp cold front. That's where we're going to see those convective showers. Hail, heavy downpours, strong winds could certainly be an issue. Localized flooding, uh, certainly not out of the question when this front kind of stalls out over the lower Great Lakes. Behind it, a much cooler cooler, drier air mass, but high pressure. So we're going to see some sunshine for the weekend, but look at the temperature contrast. Only seeing a daytime high of 21 for Saturday. Around the world in 80 seconds. Thanks, Kim. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Thursday. It is the 4th of September. It is a beautiful start to the day. Kevin Yard joins us in Barrie, Ontario. And Kevin, how are the conditions there? Thanks, Kevin. It is going to be a hot and muggy day today. Temperatures feeling like the mid-30s. By tomorrow, temperatures feeling more like the mid-40s. We do have a cold front that's going to slice through the lower Great Lakes by late afternoon, and that is where we can expect to see some isolated, possibly through severe thunderstorms throughout the GTA. Don't forget, you can always head to our website for more on our top five videos. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. It is the 4th of September, and it is hot. Certainly feeling more summer-like today than fall-like. We are going to see temperatures getting up into the high 20s, feeling more like the mid-30s. We've got active weather on the way. We are going to see that risk of isolated showers and thunderstorms through cottage country tonight and tomorrow. That cold front is going to be our story. It is going to be so hot and muggy tomorrow. could be potentially the hottest day of the year. We're looking at temperatures into the low 30s, but feeling more like the low 40s. And when that sharp cold front hits all of that muggy, soupy air, that's where we could see some severe thunderstorms rolling through. So hail could be a threat, gusty conditions, and heavy downpours. Behind this cold front, however, temperatures are going to drop dramatically on Saturday, a high of 21. Find us that it's a coming. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van.